let's create a launch screen for our app on Xcode 7. And I'm using Swift too, but that doesn't really matter for this. Now, prior to iOS 8, we had to use static images for the launch screen. And just so you know what a launch screen is, it's a screen that displays to the user when they click the app whilst the app is actually loading. So it doesn't do anything special. You should use the launch screen just to reinforce the brand of your app to give your user a cohesive experience. Now, because our app is going to target iOS 8 and later, and if I just click this deployment target and make sure it is set to 8, we can use what's called a storyboard. So if you remember in the previous tutorials, we used main.storyboard to actually make the main screens of our app. In our general tab here, down in app icons and launch images, we have a launch screen file. And we can choose the launch screen dot storyboard. So if we open that, because that's already there, we see that we just have a blank view controller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop an image into there, put a bit of light shading in the background, and leave it at that. And the image I'm going to drop in is going to be something similar to this icon. So I'll just leave you for a second whilst I go and make one. And there we go. Now, I'll uh, let you in on a little secret. Our RSS app is not very complicated, and you may have gathered that. And there are plenty of competitors out there on the app stores that do a lot more. But you have to remember that there are a lot of app users that get overload from too many features. They don't want a lot of features. They just want to read the feeds. They probably don't want to save it. They don't want to mark it. They might not want to share it, but you have to think about that yourself. And so how you can market your app is you can play against what the big boys can't do, and that is simplicity. So they cannot say their app is really simple and then show all of these features. Whereas us, as just simple app developers, can say, try our app because it's a lot simpler than these other apps and there's no learning curve. You simply click a button and once you've done that, every time you open it, you've got your feeds. There's nothing else to do. And so try to remember that people like simplicity even though they say that they want features. And that's why I've written no bells, no whistles, just RSS. Now, Apple say you shouldn't put any text in this uh, launch screen. However, they don't enforce that, and it's up to you. So just be aware that if you do put text in here, you can't localize it. So if this goes to someone in China, then you cannot change this into Chinese, as you can with other text in your app. Okay, this is going to have a transparent background. So I'm just going to save that. And then I'm going to come back to you in a minute once it's ready to import into our app. Okay, I'm going to use my asset catalog creator to create my splash screen for my 1x, 2x, and 3x icon sizes. So if I select down here image set and I drag and drop my final image into it, it'll give me a bunch of images from 1x to 3x. And we need to give the image a name. So let's have it at launch image and then click create. Then come on over to Xcode, go to images.xcassettes and click plus at the bottom and then click new image set. And of course, let's give this a name. Let's call this launch image. And then it asks you for the one to three X and I'm just going to drag those in from what we just created. So there's one, two, and three. Now go back to your launch screen dot storyboard, and we are just simply going to drop in a UI view or an image view into here. So let me just drag this up so we can actually see it. There we go. Yell if you see it before I do. I always get a little lost on these. There we go, image view. I'm going to drop that in. And then of course, we need to give it some constraints. 
Now my image is square. Let me just select the image view properly here. So I'm going to give it a width and a height of let's say 240 by 240. Add those. And then I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically. So it sits right in the middle of our view. Let me just update that. And there we have it. And then of course we need to set an image for that. So over on the side here, let's just find uh, right at the top under image for image view, we can have our launch image. And there we have it. No bells, no whistles, just RSS. And now we can change our size to see what it looks like on, for example, the 6 Plus or an iPhone 5, a full screen iPad. Yeah, I think that looks fine. An iPad Pro. I kind of like the minimal look, but of course it's up to you to go for what you like. So I'll just save that and then let's run it and see if we get a launch screen that pops up on our simulator. There we go. So you see what I mean about the launch screen, reinforcing your brand, telling your user what your app does and what's going to come up. And that is currently trying to get the feeds. There we go. Okay, so now we have a fully unified sort of app experience. We have a launch screen, we have an app icon, we have all of these switching icons so we can switch between them. And our user recognizes a brand identity. Okay, that concludes how to make a launch screen in iOS 8 and higher.